There are different ways that you can prioritize your cloud apps over the other apps. One way is to use a traffic shaping policy. Here is how. The following scenario is quite typical for many businesses. Now, if you're using more than one WAN interface, you can use static route, create different static route to each one interface and prioritize different internet services. You can also prioritize the interfaces. You can even use SD-WAN rules and performance SLA. Now, we will look at a case where we have only one WAN interface and we will do it using the traffic shaping policy. So the very first thing that you need to do is to move over to your policy and make sure that application control is on. The second thing you'll do is to move to security profile, application signatures, and there we will create an application group for the cloud applications that we used most often. So let's just name it cloud apps. And from here, we can actually use the category, which, which can be cloud IT, or we can actually select our applications. So let's use the AWS, which we used often. Let's um, add up Salesforce. All right. And let's add up Office 365. There we have it. Now, let's just save our application group. We can see that we have a new application group that includes all of our cloud apps that our workers uh, use most often. The third thing that you will need to do is to create a traffic shaping policy. Now, if you move to traffic shaping policy under policy and objects, you will see that you have two main traffic shapers. One is the high priority and the second one is the low priority. Both are in the shared IP shaper. So let's move to traffic shaping policy. Let's create a new traffic shaping policy. Let's just name our traffic shaping policy cloud apps. The source can be all destination all service all in application now here is the place where we actually use our application group so just look for the cloud apps that we have just created that's our application group and here in the uh, shaper we will actually apply let's just um, add up the WAN interface and here we will apply the high priority shaper. We will apply it in both shared shaper and reverse shaper so that we'll have also the downlink and the uplink with high priority. Okay, so we have a policy, we have a traffic shaping policy for cloud apps. So let's create another traffic shaping policy for any other apps. All right, again, source all, destination all, service all. Now, you, you can choose the applications, but you don't have to. And here in the traffic shaping place, let's just use the low priority, both in the shared shaper and in the reverse shaper. And now we actually have two traffic shaping policy. If you enable application control on your policy, your application control sensor will actually notice whenever you use uh, Salesforce or other cloud apps and your traffic shaping policy will actually prioritize it over the other. 